How's it going everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the ASICS collaboration with Atmos and Sean Weatherspoon on the Gel Light 3 OG. This pair had a wider release including here in Canada on August 14th, following two previous limited drops. They retailed for $165 US dollars or $225 here in Canada and the official colorway for this shoe is multi. Celebrating the 30th anniversary of the A6 Gel Light 3 model, along with the 20th anniversary of Japanese retailer Atmos, together with Sean Weatherspoon, they collaborated on one of the most highly anticipated A6 of the year. So I managed to grab my pair online for retail from Livestock. They had anti-bot protection on their site, so when they dropped on their website, before you can actually add your size to cart, they put up two specific questions that you had to answer correctly before you could check out. So the first question I believe was, what country is ASICS founded in? And the second question was something along the lines of, what Quentin Tarantino movie was affiliated with ASICS? And the answer to that was Kill Bill. So long story short, I finally got them in hand yesterday, and these are probably even nicer in person than they are in pictures. So first off, here's a quick look at the box, and this comes in this brown colored cardboard box. At the top, we have Sean Weatherspoon's logo, we have Atmos's logo, and the ASICS logo at the bottom. Inside the top lid, there's some text about the Gel Light 3 and the background behind it, and then at the bottom, if you guys can see, there's these sketches of the Gel Light 3. As for the shoes, as you guys can obviously see, this is done in mismatching fashion. So the left shoe is supposed to represent LA, whereas the right shoe is supposed to represent Tokyo. Taking a closer look at the shoes, so the majority of the upper is constructed using corduroy. Corduroy is a material that we've commonly associated with Sean Weatherspoon following his highly successful 97.1 Air Max. So on the right shoe, this is done in this bold orange, whereas on the left, this is done in this pale purple or lavender color. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, there's another layer of corduroy. For the right shoe, it's done in this orange color, which gives it a very tonal look all across the toe box but we have these two hits of exposed brown canvas on the lateral side, along with this embroidered ASICS logo on the medial edge. Comparing this to the left shoe, the corduroy overlay here is done in this much darker purple, and then the exposed canvas on the lateral side is done in this bright purple. The left shoe also has the ASICS vector logo on the medial side, and this is stitched on in this lavender color. The majority of the midfoot of both sides of the left shoe is done in this dark green colored corduroy. And then in the middle, one of the most signature design aspects of this model, we have the ASICS Vector logo, but this is actually attached to the shoe using Velcro. So the standard ASICS logo on the left shoe is done in this red color, which complements the green corduroy surrounding it pretty well. In contrast, on the right shoe, the majority of the right shoe is done in this pastel blue colored corduroy. And then again using Velcro, the standard ASICS Vector logo on the right shoe is done in yellow. In addition to these two ASICs vectors, they also give us three other options as well, so you can really interchange it based on how you like your shoe to look. And they also include two separate patches as well, one incorporating Sean Weatherspoon's logo and the other one with the Atmos logo. Moving downwards towards the back end of the shoe, on the left foot this is covered in this brown colored corduroy, and on the lateral side we have Gel Light 3 embroidered in a combination of green, red, and blue. Comparing this to the right shoe, this is done in a very bright and vibrant turquoise corduroy. And then again embroidered on the lateral side, we have Gel Light 3 done in pink, orange, and green. At the very center of the back heel, we have both the ASICS logo and the Gel logo found in the middle. Hugging the back heel, we have these TPU heel clips to give you added structure and support. So for the left shoe, this is done in this red color, and for the right shoe, this is done in yellow. For the laces, these come with a rope style lace in white, and you'll notice they have these metallic silver lace tips, which is a nice premium touch. In addition to the stock laces, they also give you a secondary pair of pink based laces if you decide to change up the look a little bit. Underneath the laces, we have your signature slit tongue that's found on the Gel Light 3. On the right shoe, this is done in this grey color, and you see we have LA embroidered on the lateral side, whereas on the left shoe, this is done in this green color, and we have the letters TYO embroidered on this shoe for Tokyo. The inner liner of these shoes is done in this silky like material. And then taking out the insole, you'll see they come with mismatching insoles. And on the right shoe, we have ASICS and the Sean Weatherspoon logo. And on the left shoe, we have ASICS and the Atmos logo. So the upper of these Gel Light 3s sits atop this white colored foam midsole. We have ASICS branding debossed on the lateral side. And then encased within this foam midsole, but not visible to the eye, we do have ASICS gel technology for cushioning. Turning the shoes over to the bottom, so again, these come with mismatching outsoles. For the left shoe, this is done in purple on the forefoot and grey on the back heel, whereas on the right shoe, it's done in brown on the forefoot and purple on the back heel. In either case, it's finished off with ASICS branding in the center. So that covers the look and design of the shoe. In terms of how these fit, when I was doing my research online, a lot of people said that they fit true to size. 
So I took the chance, I got these in a size 10, which is my actual true measured size, and they fit me pretty well. I'd say that if you have really, really wide feet, you might wanna consider going up a half size. However, for me, even though my feet are a little bit wide, the width on the shoe was just perfect, but if my feet were any more wider, then I might have some issues. Lengthwise though, the shoe was perfectly fine. So if you have narrow or normal width feet, then true to size is definitely the way to go. Next up, in terms of comfort, the A6 Gel Light 3 is a pretty comfortable shoe, despite the fact that it is a retro sneaker that's 30 years old. The gel cushioning is pretty soft and it gives you a nice bounce back. And I'd say that it's more comfortable than comparable sneakers like the Air Max 1 or the Air Max 90. To me, this is one of those shoes you can really wear for a long time without feeling any discomfort or pain. Finally, in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship on my pair, overall I'd say that it was okay. The corduroy material felt pretty good, and I personally didn't notice any significant issues with the craftsmanship, so all in all, it's a pretty solid job by ASICS. With all that being said now, let's lace up these Sean Weatherspoon Atmos and ASICS Gel Light 3s and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. As I've said in my other ASICs reviews, I'm not the biggest fan of ASICs, which is not a shot at ASICs at all, it's just personal preference. I'm just much more of a Nike, Adidas, and New Balance kind of guy. With that said though, I think that this collaboration was very well done. It has a very fun and playful look to it, and I love the interchangeable vectors, which gives it a very interactive feel. With that said though, between the two feet, I definitely like the look of the LA pair much more than the Tokyo one. In fact, I wouldn't even be mad if both shoes looked like this, as I just think the colors work much better on the LA one, whereas the Tokyo one looks a bit more random, a bit more dull, and to me at least, it just doesn't work as well. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Atmos and Sean Weatherspoon Gel Light 3. Did you guys manage to pick up a pair? And if you did, is this a shoe that you're going to be rocking, or is it more of a quick flip, or a shoe that you're going to trade for something else? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8. Check out my Twitter account at sean.go and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.